Hey guys, welcome back to Dexter Ranch. From time to time, I like to step outside of focusing on just the Dexter cattle and talk about some other things that go along with this lifestyle. And in doing so, I've made a few videos in the past, well, a couple of videos in the past, talking about building this 30 by 40 pole barn that we're standing in. Now, those videos were focused in on this mini split that's hanging up on the wall, this AC and heating unit. And I made one video in the winter time showing the capability of the heater side of it. And I made one video in the summer showing the capability of the air conditioner. And I'll link those two videos down below if you're interested in learning more in detail about the mini split system. But in those videos, I've had a lot of comments and questions inquiring about my total cost to put up this building. And I've made a lot of promises in those comments to make a video with an itemized list of what it cost me to put up this building. So that's what today's video is going to be about. Uh, I did most things that a person would want to do when building a building like this. I say most because the sky's the limit really when you're building something like this as to what you could do. But for most people, I did most things, meaning I did the spray foam insulation. I did concrete throughout. I did extensions on the eaves instead of just stopping the roof right at the, the walls. Um, I did a 20 by 10 porch out on this side with uh, canned lighting in it. I did a cupola up top. I did the wainscot all the way around. Uh, I put the, the heating and cooling system in here. So I did most things that, that most people would want to do. Uh, so with that being said, I think that it'll be a good sample for the guy that just wants to build a basic build or the guy that wants to spruce it up a little bit. Both people will get some useful information out of this video. So let's get into it and see what it cost to build a 30 by 40 pole barn. Keep in mind as we go through this that these numbers came from 2017, which is when the building was built. I was able to pull up the original invoice, uh, so these numbers are all coming off of that but we are in a weird time with our economy right now and uh, building materials went way up for a while and now they've came back down some but i i don't believe they're as low as they were in 2017. nonetheless this should give you a good baseline to shoot for as you go out to get quotes uh, starting from the ground up the first item on the list is dirt work and on my invoice there was an allowance for a thousand dollars of dirt work and i had a pretty big drop in the back side of the building where they had to bring in quite a bit of dirt to get the building area leveled out so some other people may be able to get that for cheaper uh, the next item on the list would be the building itself and the five inches of concrete that resides directly under the building. So this won't include the concrete approach, meaning the driveway. It won't include the sidewalk or the porch driveway either. Just the concrete directly under the building and the building itself. And when I say the building itself, I mean this doesn't include any windows, doors, uh, it doesn't include the eave overhangs. It doesn't include the porch add-on. It just includes the 30 by 40 by 12 building. And that item was $15,000. Moving on from there, we'll go ahead and add the windows and doors to try to get a total on what a base building with just concrete under the building and the building with windows and doors would cost if you're looking to do just a basic build. 
For the windows, it was $1,600. I have six windows in my build, uh, so it calculates out to $266 each, depending on how many you would want in your build. And for the doors, it was $1,025. That included the one entry door in the front and then the French door over at the porch. And for the overhead door, that's a 16 by 10 overhead door. That was $1,400. This should be a good time to stop and just show what a basic build would cost if somebody's just looking to build a building in its simplest form with just windows and doors and the 5 inch concrete directly under the building. So for all that we're up to $20,025. For our add-ons that the building contractor was responsible for, we have the porch at $1,024. We have the concrete approach, which is the driveway, for $2,880. We have the little piece of sidewalk that's connecting the driveway to the porch for $400. We have the eave extensions at one, one foot each side of the building. That was $2,000 extra. We have insulation, which is just some really thin insulation um, that they put over the interior walls, I sprayed foam over it. We'll get to that later. But that actually cost me $1,800. Probably wasn't a good idea looking back. That was $1,800 extra dollars. And we have the cupola up top. That was an extra $800. That brings us to the point that we we're finished with the building contractor. So for our basic build at $20,025 plus our add-ons of $8,904, the total to the contractor was $28,929. Now for things that were added after the building was put up, we have gutters that cost five hundred and fifty dollars uh, we have all of the electrical work that i paid sixteen hundred and fifty dollars for that included most of the materials the wiring um, the panel the fuse box uh, it did not include the ceiling fans and like those exterior lights that were on the porch, I don't think those were included. So there's some things there that I had to buy, but $1,650 on the electrical. Uh, the mini split cost $1,800 for the unit, and then I paid some uh, uh, heating and air company $500 to install that for me. And then finally, the spray foam was... $3,500. And this is the open cell spray foam. This is not the closed cell. So if somebody wanted closed cell, it'd probably be closer to about $5,000. So that should get us the number we're looking for. With our basic build, we were at $20,025. We had add ons at 8904, which brought us up to 28929 and then after the build, we added another $8,000 worth of items, which brings the grand total to the way the building sits today to $36,929. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully you found this information useful. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and share this video with your family and friends. And if you haven't subscribed to Dexter Ranch yet, please consider doing so. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.